All right, hey everyone. This is Skip on uh, my YouTube channel, Games and Garnish. Welcome. So this is going to be one of the very first games that we're doing on my channel. I did an Elden Ring one before, but that was kind of just like a, a do I actually want to play this game or not? So it's kind of crappy. So this is Frostpunk One. Love this game. Absolute fan of it. Um, and if you've noticed on the screen here, we got Frostpunk 2 has been announced. So that's part of the reason why I'm shooting with this uh, game first. I'm really excited for Frostpunk 2. And to honor that, let's go ahead and knock out some of these scenarios. So I'm going to be playing the scenarios on uh, the hardest difficulties there are. Everything's going to be raised to the max. We're going to try our luck and see how it goes. So let's get on into it. First story mission, a new home. Customized scenario. Difficulty, extreme. People's needs will be going up, economy's gonna go up, the weather's gonna be worse, societal attitude's gonna be worse. I've never played on these difficulties before, so let's go ahead and get into it. We roam the still, cold world. Horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped, buried <coughs> in glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We lost our world to snow, and with it, our last traces of humanity. who remained came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. <coughs> it was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. And there's our generators, boys and girls. Let's get on. All right, a new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this great of this generator, only to find it frozen, solid, and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do. We should expect the worst now that the world has, as we know it, has crumbled. We have to survive. Let's go. <coughs> Fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. I'm not going to start the generator. I'm going to immediately pause and admire that we're already negative four degrees. And we got a double dip right here. So I've got four days before a double dip. What do we need to do? So we've got our little uh, UI over here, all of this stuff down here. We got tech, we've got book of laws, we've got our economy pie chart, our objectives over here. Uh, up here we've got our resources, food. Uh, 
raw food, cooked rations, our calendar with events on it, work time, so it is currently work time, starts at 0800, and then our speeds, just like most games. So we need houses. I'm not going to give them houses because I'm cool. Uh, we have 80 people. 50 of them are workers. 15 are engineers. <coughs> oh, first thing I'm going to do, we're going to construct. Ah, no, I'm not. I've got nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, so first thing, let's see what we got. Mm. Wood crates, wood crates, steel. Oh, these are good. Wood crates, wood crates, steel, steel, coal, 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 coal. You know what? It's funny. Whenever I play this game, I'm cold. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, we also have 15 children. I forgot about that. So we need we need wood ASAP. So let's assign some workers to that wood. That wood. <coughs> uh, we're going to need some steel. We're going to save this for later. That'll be good for a gatherer's hut. And... No, I think we can hold out before we get that stuff. Alrighty. Whoops. Pressing buttons, pressing buttons. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Just going to get rid of these. Whoops. Stand by. Yes, disable tutorials. There we go. <coughs> and there are people come out in the snow to pick wood. Alright, we're already getting some wood, so first thing we need to get is this workshop in place. U5, go build that. Can we already get a law as well? I think we can. Oh, yes, we can. Um, I'm going to shoot for the stars. What do we want, people? <coughs> I'm thinking emergency shifts. So, if I sign this law, we get a new ability. You can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. Using the emergency shift will raise discontent. Discontent will slightly rise. But sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. So I'm going to use that just to get up to extended shift o'clock right here. Extended shifts are wonderful. It's got a two-day cooldown. People will work for the next 24 hours. Sign. They're not happy with that, though. Twenty-four hours on the job, insane, but it's our lot. Work, work, work until you die. All right, we need to get that built so that we can get engineers in there. Those five that are building it right now, they will be the five lucky guys. So now we can do a research. Add research. <coughs> All right, so we've got our basic technology tree here we got heating exploration industry resources food health and shelter um i'm not really going to look at anything in here just yet the beacon beacon is going to be important we'll probably go with that one first and then what we'll brush wall drill wall drill is unlimited wood resources so that's very nice unfortunately i actually don't think i have enough to build the wall drill so that's that's not good and then Hunter's gear. All right, yep, so we're going to go with beacon first. 20 wood, 35 steel. Luckily, I was collecting that. <coughs> now, let's speed this up. And then these guys, we're going to do... Uh, 
Oh, I think I can. I'm not sure, though. I don't want to lose a... Ooh, that's tough. I can't remember the meta. Yeah, we're not going to do it. No roof over our heads. This is great, so it's housing problem. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleep outside. Oh, I messed up. We better do something about it. So I will provide some shelter in two days. Or I will provide shelter for everyone in two days. Or I won't address this and discontent will slightly rise. So I'll provide some shelter. And also, we have no coal. Rat. People are going to die. I messed up. Well, you live and learn. Let's see, we can get, this is 10 each, and we have, oh, we got 80 people, not enough. Okay, so maybe, can we get anybody to do this and light this off? <coughs> Wish I could turn this on with uh, without coal. <laughs> I can't do it though. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna take some people off the steel. Well, those are engineers. I'm not doing that to my engineers. Workers. 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 Go get that. Uh, for 24 hours. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to turn this on tonight. Yeah, there's our coal. What do we got? Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group. So, we're going to try and find the, uh, the rest of our people. Meanwhile, I did say I'd build some of these, so... Let's build them over here. So we got one, two, three. We'll go with three for now. Those people can build them overnight. I just hope we get enough coal and no deaths. I couldn't remember if it was the building that caused the death or this that caused the death. But, I mean, we got our objectives down here. What happened? Heating is off. Yes, yes it is. The people are afraid they'll freeze. I'm not going to let them freeze. Not all of them, anyways. I'm going to wait a little bit longer to light this generator. <coughs> Alright, stockpile coal. What's this? The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, we're facing demands. Remember that the people usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. Yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. I am your captain. So, we're going to wait until about mm, 9 o'clock. Light the heater. And hopefully make it through this mess. There we go. We have heat. People are happy. They're going to get homes as well. Not these guys. There's our glorious heater. That's our gen. Hey, look, people have homes. And that means I should... Oh, I need to build one more. All right, let's speed on through the... Actually, let me check my... Oh, cool. Look at that. I'm gaining that much. Generator's using that much, so we're golden. Let's uh, speed it on through the night. <coughs> uh, do I want to pause that? I don't really need the hope just yet. Let's, let's pause this. They don't need a home. They have the generator. See what I mean? This game just makes you feel cold. Oh yeah, cold's coming in. People are getting sick. I forgot about that as well. Let's go ahead and pause. Healthcare. Uh, I don't have the wood for that. Drat. All right. Well, we'll get healthcare next. 
Oh, oh, oh. That's five sick. That's six six. No one else gets sick, please. Seven. Mmm, eight. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, we're gonna un unpause that. We need the housing. Oh, <laughs> the sick are piling up. Like I said, I've never played on this difficulty before, so this is... Uh, this is gonna hurt. But we can almost get our next law. That'll be extended shifts, so that'll help us with uh, resource income. Hey, look at that. It is 5 in the morning. We made it through the first night. No deaths. All right. So, our laws. Uh, I'm actually kind of tempted to go for overcrowding. Oh, boy. Extended shift or overcrowd or overcrowding will take care of that. Ooh. We're going to need overcrowding. So we're going to go with radical treatment. You've got two cho two choices here. you got sustained life, which they can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive and not danger uh, won't risk dam dangerous amputations with radical treatment after introduction of this law. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. So the gravely ill will be kept alive but untreated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. Discontent will rise slightly. The grave ill will not be treated and remain a burden. The gravely ill will take up beds in medical posts. We don't want that. Radical treatment. We'll try everything to cure the gravely ill from in, uh, invasive surgery to amputation. So the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical posts will be left as amputees. Discontent will rise slightly. Sign. All right, let's go. We're gonna get a hope increase right here. I just hope they won't cut my leg off if I fall ill. At least we'll be saving lives. It's a rough life we live out here. Hey, look at that. Shelter promise fulfilled, hope will rise. Mmm. All right, let's take stock of what we've got going on here. So we've got people working there. All right, we got wood, wood, steel, steel. Glorious. We're at 25% with our technology tree. Uh, wood. I need wood. Go get me wood. Oh, yeah. I forgot to turn this off. Hey, the I don't need the heat during the day. Come on, people. Yes, the generator is shutting down. Medical post. All right, let's, let's cure these people. Um, oh yeah, our food. That, that's going to be a problem. Hmm. Dude, this is rough. I'm going to make it work, though, I swear. So I think we're going to get two medical posts. We're going to get... <coughs> Could get more tents. I need food soon, though. That's a gathering post, resource depot. Check tree food. All right, so Hunter's Hut. That will be nice. It will bring in food, but we don't need food just yet. However, the cookhouse will cook food. Mm. I almost think I'd rather get more, more of these guys. Less sick. Good, good. Um, yeah, we'll go two more. People are starting to get hungry. So let's go ahead and do what I said I wasn't going to do and make that cookhouse. Put it right there. <coughs> we're getting lots of wood in. I'm going to need it because we're going to build the beacon. I think I'm going to build the beacon back this way. All right, tech tree. We built our beacon. <sighs> Hunter's gear would be nice. Snowshoes and enhanced camouflage. Hunters setting out from the hunts. Hunter's hut will remain with, uh, return with more raw food from each hunt. Oh. Steam hubs, heaters. I really, really want to get that, but I can't yet. So, what else do we have down here? Charcoal killing. Nothing really important there. 
medical post upgrades, bunk houses we won't use, generator upgrade. Okay, so we're gonna go with you. And then we are also gonna build, oh, we're not, because we need 35 steel. We have steel, we need the wood. Oh, steel records depleted, eh? Right as the workday ends. How perfect. That means all these people can build. <coughs> <coughs> Let's get those medical posts up. I'm going to need some engineers. So that's where those guys just came from. That's glorious. That's five per perfect. Five on each of these. Well, let's just let them do their building and then we'll catch up. Because we got a lot of sick, a lot of hungry. Our 24 hour shift's over, so that's a benefit, but we got this double drop in temperature coming. Not good. I don't know when. When will be. Hurry up. Build build like your life's depend on it. We're gonna turn this on at nine o'clock again. This way the people will uh, feel more at ease. And I'm even gonna give them a bit of overdrive through the night. Bring it up. <coughs> now of course. Give me engineers there. Give me one worker. Never mind. Don't do that. They're not hungry enough yet. I want to catch them right before they start eating the raw food. All right, let's heal our people. Two sick absentees. Damn, some of my engineers got sick. Oh no. Alright, let's uh right about now. Give them that juicy overdrive. Oh look, a new law. Oh glorious. All right, so we got extra rations for the ill. It helps their recovery. I'm not in a place to do that. Are you kidding me? Ten food rations. Speed up their recovery. Or I could just crowd them all in. So, uh, let's see. Our medical facility should be fully utilized even if we have to put patients on the floor. Capacity of medical facilities is doubled. Using the extra capacity will uh, will cause discontent. Discontent will rise slightly. I'm okay with that. You know, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. Sign. Me, me. Oh, six amps. Jeez, not good. All right, let's see if we can do some min-maxing here. We got. We have patients here. How many patients do we have here? Alright, so <coughs> we are going to turn you off. Look at all the patients over here. And then we'll turn you back on. Oh, damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And oh come on, why are you doing this to me? Alright, we'll turn that off. Let them go over here. And then turn that back on. There, now it's just the two engineers. Uh, we're outstripping our coal income because we have none, but that's okay. <coughs> it's a, a tough life we live here, eh? Alright, 80 people are hungry now. No one's starving, so that's good. 
We're getting more sick, but we have the medical tents to take care of it. And I'm going to get these people homes soon. About to turn the overdrive. Oh, oh, more sick. We have one more sick. We'll turn this off at about 6 o'clock, I think. 5 slows the time down, so that's good. Another day of work to keep us warm and fed, God willing. Turn that on down. I just pray we get by. Nothing more, nothing less. All right, it's almost work time. <coughs> we should have free workers. Uh, let's see here. That's 31 there, 31 there. We got 15 people picking coal. Oh, man. Coal, 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 coal. Oh, boy. This is not a good situation I am in. Patience, about three days. Three days? What have I done? 16 hours. That's good right there. I like to see that. I mean, no one's gravely ill, so. Oh, we're not ready for this. <coughs> and it's almost work time. Let's get there. You know what I can do with some of those sick people though? Send them out on an expedition. Alright, the bacon. Let's go ahead and stack this guy. I don't want to waste too much wood. That's the only issue. I could put it right here, I guess. It's kind of pointless. That's pretty good. Oh no. We need more wood. That's fine, we'll have it in a second. There it is. All right, once that's built, we'll be golden. I think once we get it built, that's where we'll pause this episode. And hopefully I can manage to bring this back, because it's not looking pretty. However, no one's starving. They're eating my raw food. Hold on. Pause. Do not eat my raw food. Produce food, dude. Just produce food. People are oh, people are starving now, that's why. Let's just get you guys in there. Cook me food. Come on. Cook food, cook food, cook food. Oh, they're all in treatment. Alright, good. Cook food. Quickly. Protesting. I don't know why people are protesting. Oh, that's right, people. I'll provide them with shelter right away. Uh, you'll have one day to provide housing better than a tent for ten. Oh, I won't do that. You'll have one day to provide shelter for ten people. Done. I can do that. 
You just gave me everything I needed to do it. So we got 20 people without houses. Now everyone has houses. Oh, they tore through our food. Why aren't they cooking? Or build. Oh, I forgot to turn the generator off. Dang it. Oh well, looks like they get a nice long day of heat. That's gonna hurt me later on. I should have remembered to turn that off. All right, come on, build these, build these. We've got one sick. We got seven people starving. We'll go eat. There's food. Let's speed that up. Shelter, promise fulfilled. Of course it was. That's being built. All right. I need to get food going, like now. Hey, we've only got 16. Are these guys going home building? Okay. Beacon built. Hey. Our hope rises. That's pretty dope, right? Look at that. Mmm. Pretty cool. Oh, it barely misses the cliff, too. That's a perfect placement, if I do say so myself. All right, now this opens up our <coughs> a large map. So we got expeditions we can do out here in the frozen wastes. Uh, you put together scouting parties. Right now I'm allowed one. Each scouting party uses five citizens. Um, and then they take time to travel to these little beacons right here. So we got the Lost Expedition. We got Crash Site. Can't do any of those right now, so I'm zooming back in. Let's go ahead and pause it real quick. Take stock of what we've got. 16 people. Three sick absentees. How many patients do you have? You only have three. Why do you only have three and you have all of these? Turn that off. You all need to go over there. And then turn this one on. There. Now you'll get better care. But with this, oh, you know what? Here, let's uh, let's do some min-maxing right before we leave. So we'll put. We've got no engineer. So put ten people on that. And that should leave us <coughs> with, oh, snap. I read that wrong. There we go. 15 there. I just need five. Let's see. Uh, going to treatment. In oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Watch this. Watch this little finagling I'm going to do right here. I hope I have enough wood. I don't even have enough wood. Dang it. As I was. Well, you know what? That'll have to be for the next episode. But these guys are collecting steel. These guys are collecting coal. Let's give them one more so they get everybody. Look at that. Alright, and uh, yeah, this is Frostpunk. So this is... Um, Scenario 1, Episode 1. I'll be doing these in short episodes. And uh, hopefully we can get through all the scenarios on this hardest difficulty, Extreme, before Frostpunk 2 comes out. So if you guys like this, please drop a like. Subscribe if you're feeling frisky. Leave a comment. Give me some criticism. Some, uh, some good stuff I could do or change. And uh, above all else, I hope you enjoyed. All right. Catch you guys later.